Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Today is an oxymoron. We're gonna relax, but we're gonna talk about not relaxing the whole time. <laughs> Thank you, Wawa, for free air because we are still having tire issues. Boo. Do you a trick or treat? Oh, you're making it really hard right now. What? Sarah and I literally spent <laughs> majority of the ride here on the property talking about if we should just go to the ticket window and buy the two $300 passes to all the not so scary parties. So Disney this year, for the first time ever, took a page from Universal's book and came out with a Halloween party season pass, which counts for every single Halloween party except for Halloween night. But that's like, how many parties? It's like over 25. Right, like 30 parties for $300 when like one party is basically $100. It's such a good value, but we like really don't think we have the time for it to be like super worth it. We would make it worth put, it. Put the camera on me. <laughs> I got something to say. If Sarah and I weren't living at Katie's for two weeks and going to Dom's wedding and moving and, and getting I'm going a new to place, Chicago in October. Sarah's going to Chicago and doing IVF whenever all this happens, if we weren't doing all those things, we'd be going to the ticket booth right now and just buying it on the time alone. But on right. top of it, we need to move. Something's going on with our car tire. We need it. We're going to buy a beautiful, giant, luscious, comfortable couch when we get into we our have, new apartment. We've like, been saving for this move and we'd be dipping into that. Yeah. And, um, but that's why like it's, yeah. There's some expenses so that we thought we were gonna hard. have when it came to the move that we aren't gonna have. Yeah. And so like that right there would directly pay for the two pass, the six hundred dollars in passes. Mm -hmm. But then it comes down to like time. Like we would make it worth it. We would go three three or four times, but like I wanna do I wanna get the pass and go three times a week. Yeah. And we just don't have the time to do that this right. season. Maybe next year. And also like it. I could potentially like be on bed rest yeah. for like forever. For not forever, <laughs> but for a long time during it. So. Fingers crossed we're trying to go to Grand Floridian just to have a relaxed night, but we're not going to watch the fireworks if we get in. We're not. Oh, we're staying here tonight. Kenny, let us through. <laughs> also, we own this place. So, Sarah really didn't mean that statement because we're not those snobby DVC owners, but I it's will like say... It's like a very small percentage. But I will say, like, matter-of-factly, literally, on the legal documentation, we own 0.01% of one unit at the Grand Floridian. Of one unit. <laughs> <laughs> of one whole. room. I think that gives us like one cup of coffee <laughs> at the like little espresso joint in the lobby. I don't even think it gives us one night of valet or parking. But we are here. Beautiful cars. Wes is, I don't know if Wes is playing, but the piano player's got one more show at 820. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the orchestra will be out in about two. Also meet the Robinsons is playing for the movie Under the Stars. First stop of the night with our May the Cure Be With You with the ACS Determination Team is the beautiful shores of the Grand Floridian. We are zoomed in. Now we're good. <laughs> Look how pretty it is behind us. It's like we're on a tropical retreat. I was thinking like Gold Side, Atlantic Side. Grand Floridian Side. What book are you reading tonight? We're relaxing at the Grand Floridian. I'm reading North by Scott Jurek, who's like a super famous ultra marathon runner. He's run like, won like a bunch of 100 marathon races, 100 marathon, 100, 100 mile races. He won the 135 mile Badland, Badwater run, which is like through Death Valley. She's laughing at me I on the inside laugh. and the outside. I never laugh. <laughs> but I'm obsessed with ultra running now because I've become obsessed with running. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, about my running and more importantly, our fundraising to beat cancer and to just help alleviate the stresses for families, right? Mm -hmm. So we fundraise for the American Cancer Society. We've got an awesome fundraiser going on with a very, not overzealous, what's the word? What? Very passionate, passionate goal, $4,000. And we are $1,500 there. When we hit this $4,000 goal, that means Sarah and I have raised $10,000 with your help 
between last dopey and this dopey. So we'll, dopey to dopey. From dopey to dopey, ten thousand dollars is our goal. We're a few thousand dollars away. So if you know anybody, know any companies, let us know. We'll put the link down below. But I think it's time. I've talked enough. It's time to read. So, I know most of you already know this story, but some of you may not. And I started running about a year and a half ago because Sarah and I watched the 2007, 2018 marathon runners here in Disney when it was about a three or four weeks after a fertility doctor said you guys should start working on just basic exercise to start getting healthy. Combine that with all the invasive surgeries and doctor's visits this extremely powerful woman has gone through for us to start our family. That's been like my huge motivation to get healthy and run. And so since we are lucky enough to have good jobs and good health insurance and good medical studies, that sounds like fun. <laughs> we have the means to get the medical help we need to start our family. And so that's what drove us to go towards the American Cancer Society to help raise funds for people who don't have insurance or don't have cars to get to their cancer treatments. Or family nearby. Or family nearby so they can stay with, so they can stay at a, a motel during their treatments and everything. So that's where that relationship started from. And now I've done three weekends, three fundraisers with American Cancer Society. Yeah. Done three. And this is the fourth one with Dopey 2020. And so that's just a little bit of history there. But now we have to go see our boy Wes, our absolute favorite pianist at the Grand Floridian. His his last set starts in like three minutes. We gotta get in there. Yay! I don't see, oh wait, Wes is coming out now. There's that fancy gentleman dressed up. Are you ready? I think these parents of this little girl asked Wes to show her a little bit because I think she's learning how to play piano right now. And he's like showing her how things you learn and count is all the same even through all your different levels. This is so beautiful. Wes, will you teach my babies how to play piano? What's happening? This is the little girl playing. She's very good. That's incredible. Woo! She bowed. <laughs> So Peter is changing now to run. He has five miles to do. He's gonna go around here in the Polynesian. Um, but I'm gonna get us a spot to watch Meet the Robinsons. It just started like 15 minutes ago. There's a lot of people out here. Thank you. All right, thank Sarah's you. over there watching Meet the Robinsons. I'm about to get ready to do my run, but I wanted to show you those cool shoes that my buddy Steve got sent over my way from Tampa. So Steve is a shoesaholic. He bought quite a, a couple, just a handful of shoes. And these ones were just a little too small for him. He's an 11, I'm a 10 and a half. He thinks these might be able to fit. He put about 50, 60 miles on them. So these are specialty made Nike Zoom Fly SP, special project. They were made for the breaking the two hour marathon special. Sarah, we'll put a clip in right here.
of that little trailer and they are supposed to be some sick shoes i've yet to go on them they're like easily four times lighter than my average shoes that i've usually been wearing um they'll they'll last like a fraction of the time like i've already put 400 miles in my other shoes and they're still still have another 200 miles left these have 60 miles on them and they'll probably only have anywhere from 150 to 200 miles left in them but they're not to be used every day i'm gonna lace them up and see how i feel they're a little snug, but they just fit differently than my normal ones, and they're way lighter. It's kind of weird how light they are. They feel pretty cool. I'm gonna give them a five mile workout and see if there's something I can keep wearing. If not, I think they are. The toes, are, I just like, it's a snugger fit, but I think they're supposed to be a snug fit of a shoe because there's not much material to them. Do we really think that it's a coincidence that the movie Under the Stars at the resort we decided to go to, the whole theme of the entire movie is keep moving forward. It's literally a movie talking about failure, but to always keep moving forward. It's crazy. I'm like watching it. Like I've probably only seen this movie a handful of times. Disney magic. There you go. It is so humid running. <laughs> it was so humid. It was worse than yesterday. It was so humid by seven seas ago. I ran all around. Perimeter. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Just look at me. Just fo focus on me. <laughs> focus on me. We're not there. We're not there yet. I ran all over Heroes and Villains parking lot instead. Really? Yeah, I couldn't That's do it. Crazy! I barely even sat down in the lobby before you texted me. I like opened my book to the page and it was. I mean, we could relax. We just gotta sit somewhere not inside because I am gross. Peter likes to leave his mark wherever he goes. What'd you say? <laughs> Said Peter likes to leave his mark wherever he goes. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Confessions of a, of teenage, a teenage drama teenager. queen. We didn't even plan that. Um, I definitely heard at least five seconds of the song, and I'm just telling you, those five seconds I heard were adorable. The, the song of the fireworks. The song of the fireworks, yeah. It was absolutely adorable. I won't give away too much, but Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse sings in adorable Mickey fashion. So I think Sarah and I are going to buy those season passes Hold on. tonight. Oh my goodness. I'm just joking. We're I, not, um,. Not. I might put it in the clip here depending on how good the quality is. Even if it's bad quality, I might put it in. Violet has been obsessed with Fantasmic these days. They watch it on YouTube and she does the choreography pretty well for a one-year-old. Yeah. Um, and so I'll see if I'll put that footage She's in She's definitely our niece. Yes. That's for certain. For sure. home August 20th is the day the message is by Charles Bukowski you can't beat death but you can beat death in life sometimes and the more often you learn to do it the more light there will be your life is your life know it while you have it last thing I want to show these bad boys these are my goo energy gels that I, I do whenever I run more than about seven miles um, everybody uses these, treats these a little Some people use them on shorter runs, some people use them on longer runs. If I'm going over seven miles, I usually use these and I go about, I have one every 40 to 50 minutes. But they are gel. Um, they come in all different kinds of flavors. I got tri-berry here. I just have another box I just ordered today that'll get here Thursday. And um, they're lifesavers. They're just 
packed full of all the good juices and amino acids and calories and caffeine that you need. They are, this brand specifically is vegan, so that's cool. Works with me, so it's cool to have like chocolate things, and especially if I'm going out and running like 15 miles and I have it in my pocket during the daytime, I when I go to eat it on like mile 11, it's actually like usually like warm from the heat and tastes like, like a chocolate fudge. But that's how I keep fueled during my runs, and I just, I'm gonna order this weekend my first hydration belt, so now I'm gonna feel like extra legitimate as a endurance athlete. That's it. And with that, tomorrow's already Wednesday, right? Yep. Peter brought home some pasta from work. We're gonna have it yeah. for dinner and I'm already dreaming about it. So that's what tomorrow we're having. I'm going to Animal Kingdom. It's, it's good, good to, to be, be home. home. Oh, we haven't done that in a while. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.